Hey, what's up, everybody? So I just thought I'd throw my two cents in with this whole Ezra Miller thing going on with being a hardcore DC fan and Marvel and a comic book collector and reader. This shit is crazy. I'm watching the John Campia show, and I'm just like, you know, me and him kind of are at odds once in a while, you know? I don't agree with some of the stuff he says, but some of the stuff I do agree with him. But anyway, um, so I'm just like, when he does his show, I'm like, oh my god, is this the day we're going to get another Ezra Miller video? But this stuff is crazy. With him, like, befriending this girl since she was, like, 12, now she's 18. The parents put a restraining order against Ezra Miller. Um, They're nowhere to be seen. I mean, he's posting cryptic messages on Instagram, which I think he deleted his social media media now, saying that they're on a different planet, they'll not be able to find them. I mean, it started off with, like, I mean, I don't even know if this is the first incident, but with him at the club in Hawaii and, and like, yelling at a girl, saying that she can't sing at karaoke and then throwing a chair at a woman. I mean, what is Ezra Miller doing? He is killing his career. Now, honestly, tell you the truth, I'm not a big fan of Ezra Miller. I don't like him as the Flash. I don't like his costume. In Justice League. Uh, I feel like the only Flash to me that I really love is uh, Grant Gustin from The Flash. Which I need to jump back on The Flash. Because the last season I saw was with The Thinker. I haven't seen anything past The Thinker um, when The Thinker came in The Flash. So um, his co- I will admit his costume is a lot better in the Flash movie. But I just feel like his personality, he doesn't fit the Flash. And going into this year, the Flash movie was my second most anticipated movie with the Batman being number one, just because of Michael Keaton returning as Batman. I'm a huge Michael Keaton fan, and I love Batman. He's my favorite superhero of all time and favorite comics. But, uh, yeah, I was just like, I'm so excited for this movie. But So what is Warner Brothers going to do now? I mean, obviously, he can't promote it. He can't promote this movie with all the stuff that's happening. Like, do they just release it on HBO Max? What do they do with it? They can't shelve it. It's like, what, it costs like $200 or so to make? I don't know, but this stuff at Ezra Miller is just blowing my mind. I'm just waiting for, like, this weekend to hear something else. Like, oh, they found Ezra Miller or something. It's, It's just... It's just crazy. It's just crazy. This whole thing with the Flash and everything. I want the Flash movie for Michael Keaton. That is the one main reason.